Hi everybody. Many blessings to you. I hope this day finds you well. Um, I want to come on here real quick and to share this little short video of information that was given to me yesterday and um, another harmonic shift that came in last night just for a very short period of time, probably for about three hours. And um, what the meaning of that particular harmonic shift is about. So let's first share with you the harmonic shift of last night. So harmonic shift, you can just think about a key chords that are all in harmony, right? It's a lot of different notes at the same time. And different notes, just like when you listen to music, right? Different music will elicit a different emotional response within you. And the same thing happens when the universe um, uploads new frequencies into our planet, into our body. And that harmonic shift, or those harmonic notes, I should say, will elicit certain things that have been adhered to our cellular level. And also things that we need to purge out um, from our body or from the planet. Okay? So... That being said, last night, approximately 11.30, maybe earlier, I, I paid attention to it around 11.30, a new harmonic fre frequency was downloaded into our planet, and it probably ended around 2 o'clock-ish in the morning, again, Pacific Standard Time. The time is irrelevant, but maybe you could say, hey, I remember something was kind of weird, or I felt this, that. That's why I'm kind of sharing that with you. So during that time, our harmonic frequencies were elicited into the planet and into our bodies. And we are in a time of what's called the Great Purge. Um, the purge being we are lifting and bringing to the surface things that were of lies, things that were of control, things that were of deception, things that were of... Um, oppression, things that were fear, things that were built in all of these, this, these dynamics. And these are all breaking apart, being brought to the surface, to the knowledge of, for us to see them. So remember, as these things are brought to the surface, while they may, new, they may be new to us, they've been going on this whole entire time. We just didn't know about it. So a lot of things have been hidden from our view. Okay, a lot of things that we've been told about people that make them look really bad actually never happened, or it was some other source that was actually doing the negative stuff, or vice versa. Same thing, you know, whatever might have been said, hey, they're doing great stuff, they weren't doing such great stuff. So just kind of keep that in mind. You just sit back and, re and observe and witness, and if you get too emotionally, um, pulled into the drama, stop watching it. You need to start cutting the ties with the drama scenes and start going with him. Okay? So with these harmonics that were brought down to the planet last night, they will reach its pinnacle point um, around Thursday-ish. Um, Pacific Center time in the midday, roughly speaking. Um, so what this is doing is bringing to the surface any fear that may be residing in you. And I'm talking simple fears. I'm talking about childhood fears that never got cleared out. Um, fears that, oh my gosh, I used to have pain in my leg forever and got rid of it. And now, oh my gosh, is it coming back? I'm afraid that it might be coming back. Simple fears so as these things come to the surface within you, um, whatever they may be, try your best to be an observer to yourself and go, that's right, this is just coming to the surface. It's getting rid of it. It doesn't mean it's here. doesn't mean I have to own it, right? doesn't mean I have to, oh, I have to deal with that pain again. Damn it, right? No, no. It just means, oh, Okay, so this fear is raising to the surface, and this fear is time for me to let it go. And just, all right, there it is, let it go, you know? And you'll notice it'll be gone within moments. But the more you focus on it, and the more you try to go, 
into the fear and try to own that fear, you'll notice that, oh, the pain in the leg is stained, it's sticking around, oh no, and then you go down that drama road, right? You have to start taking responsibility for yourself and taking responsibility for your own actions and really be disciplined and pulling yourself back. So along with these new harmonic energies, so harmonic energies, in my meditation, I was really asking what this was about. And different harmonic frequencies, as I said before, will unlock different cellular, emotional, drama, trauma memories. So this particular one is about fear, again. So not only is it going to be listening the fear within you and bring it to the surface to wipe it out, but it's also going to bring in up different fear programs that are going on within the world. So again, if you're very influential, if you're easily knocked off your rock or off your center of being in that great space connected to spirit, then don't pay attention to the news in the next coming two weeks, okay? Because this is what's going to come up. And again, remember, oh, this is not happening to me now. This is not part of me. I'm just observing it, bringing it to the light, giving it love and letting it go, okay? So be brave while you move through the Great Purge. The Great Purge is from here till probably towards the end of the year. Um, and it's going to be purging out things again. Programs that were built upon lies, deception, fear, control. Ab, ab, um, God, I can never think of that word. Oppression. There we go. Um, anger, segregation. All of these programs are going to be removed. All these programs are going to fall apart because they don't serve us, guys. They don't. There's a lot of the programming, a lot of our world that which we depend upon that we believe is the truth. We believe all around about it is truth. And it turns out that was based on a huge lie to control us in some way or another. So have faith that everything's going to be fine and um, be brave while moving through these things. And again, if you're if you're very sway, easily swayed, then just don't watch it. Just pay attention to your own world. Find your joy. Do your art. Do your gardening. Whatever that makes and gives you joy. As you purge throughout the old density, I'm looking at my notes. As you purge out through the old density energies, there's some great news. Different energy will replace it. So if you think if you have a cup and enter water or energy is being poured into the cup, it's making it overflow. So I know if you have like a cup and if you put some dirt in it and you mix it around, right? It's going to look pretty mucky. It's kind of like what we're seeing now. Or if you actually let it settle, the water will get clear on top and the dirt will get you know dirty on bottom, right? You'll see that happening. But when you start to pour more water in it, pour more energy into it. It's going to mix it all up again. And all of a sudden overflowing will be some of the dirty water. So the new energy is coming in, mixing things up, pouring the dirty water out. And after a while, all the dirty water will be out and there'll be nothing but clear water. So after a while, all these new energies are going to be coming in and making us clear, higher vibrational energies. So this is good news. This is good things that are happening in our world. So you will be fulfilled with these wonderful, joyful, loving, connected energies. So that's the upside of the good news. Okay. As of the energy or what I was spoken to yesterday is more energies are going to be entering our planet and they already are happening and it is ancestral energy. And in the way of good, good stuff, right? Energy that used to be her a long time ago from spirit is now being just um, completely downloaded and flooding the planet. And you can extrapolate this into anything you want, you know, but it is it is here and it's going to be stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So that's good news. But in the process, again, as you're adding more energy into this planet, it's going to bring up the more ickiness. So hang in there, guys. Greater things are coming. Believe the end result. There is humongous light at the end of this tunnel, but there's going to be a lot of other dark things showing its face. And again, don't get caught up on the drama trauma. Don't get caught up in uh, the control and the oppression. 
uh, really sit with yourself of put your vote in here, put your vote in here. Oh, and one more thing, and then I'll get off because I said this would be short. It's not turning out to be very short, is it? Um, another thing, which is, um, really start to do something new, really start to focus on working your life differently. So we're used to looking at life logically and looking at through the mind and communicating through the mind and thinking through the mind. And in doing that and being trained to that and programmed to that, we've created a monkey mind, right? So it's constantly talking and constantly chatter in there. And a lot of times people, when they say, I try meditation, it's just constant chatter. And that's why I say, go to a guided meditation, guys. Go to a guided meditation because that will help decrease your chatter and also make you not feel so, God, I just can't do this because you are listening to somebody and you will be eventually be able to quiet that chatter. But that being said, that is the old program. That is the, not program, this is the old paradigm of how we basically used to working in the world. And I want you to go to your heart. Really try to discern the world through your heart. Really try to, to communicate through your heart. Really try to listen through your heart. Your heart has more nerve endings and actually we, the scientists have found that the heart tells the brain what to do. So go into your heart, really start to um, play with that. Really start to feel that. You know, this morning I was doing my meditation. I'm a very logical girls, guys. I'm much, much, much logical. As spiritual as I am, as a great channel that I am, I'm very much in my head. And today I was told, go to your heart. And so I started, you know, I basically expanded my heart. And I started listening to spirit with my heart. The colors, it's more of a feeling that you get versus told words. It's more scenery you get versus shown sentences. So it's a really different world, but it's warmer. It's more loving. It's more everything that which we desire. So I hope that was helpful. I love you guys. Hang in there. If you have any questions or anything you want me to talk about in future lives, I realize that I get really distracted with lo with lives, um, with everybody asking questions, and I just go, oh, and I lose my train of thought, and it doesn't like to string together very well. So I think what I might do is throw me your questions, throw me what you might want to learn or know more about and then I will do video on it and I'll tag you on that video and that's the way I might do it. I might go into YouTube. This will be loaded up in YouTube. Um, my YouTube page is, I, I haven't made it yet, um, but I think it's just going to be under Wendy Morgan if it's available. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, just let me your, your questions. Um, Maybe I'll just do a live as far as asking, you know, answering questions at the time. But as far as like topics, I don't think I'm going to do more lives because till I can get it uh, down pat. So anyways, guys, have yourself a fantastic, wonderful, loving day. Mwah. Love you guys all. It is focus on the end. We're being filled with wonderful energy, being filled with wonderful colors. Expand your heart. Let these things go. It is not you. And we're going to be looking at a fantastic, much better world by the end of the year. Love you guys. Bye-bye.